Welcome to the desert and inside Chase Field in Phoenix. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies, the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hi folks, John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. So the Arizona Diamondbacks are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Blue. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with the win today. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now, and getting the start, Luke Weaver. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. So just about set now. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Leading off tonight for Philadelphia, the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. The pitch. Rip, but it curls foul. First pitch, 640. A wind in the pitch. And it's even up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and that played right second. into the, the hands of the pitcher. And digging in for Philadelphia, JT Real Muto, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Hey. That one's in there, 0 1. 0 1. One down, base is empty. Hard hit, left side. Whips it to first. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Batting third. And time now for the Phillies lineup. Of course, a big piece for them is their DH, Kyle Schwarber. And Booth, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. When he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency. That bat stays in the zone for a long time, and he squares up the baseball a lot. Bryce Harper stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Next offering is foul back. Two down, nobody on. In the air, right field, Luplo under this one. And that's the third out. Down quickly go the Phillies. And now the Diamondbacks will get their first turn at bat. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We go to the bottom of the first. And today's starter, Ranger Suarez. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. The 1-0. -oh. 
Good eye right there. The pitch. This side, ball three. Pumps in a strike and now three and one the count. On the ground right side and he grabs it foul. offering his foul back. The pitch. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because that even though seven. he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches yeah. and he battled. And oh, man. this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Nick Ahmed here to hit. In there, and it's 0-1. And a pitch. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Brian under it. He's got it. There's two away. Time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. And a key piece, a guy having a big season for them, Cattell Marte. And Boog, he's their team leader in home runs, so you know the pitchers on that other side, man. They took a lot of time preparing for him in that pregame meeting. You know, he's got a lot of pop, and it's real pop. It's not fluky at all. He can absolutely change the outlook of a game very quickly. So watch out when he steps in. Cattell Marte in the box here lets that one go for a ball. And a pitch. Good eye in that spot. Two and one now. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. And welcome back. Top of the second. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies. For Brandon Jordan. The center fielder. Brandon Jordan. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Ball one there. And that's down it away. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Next offering misses. And it's 3-0. And, oh. and That one misses. So a leadoff walk. 
Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and lead off batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. In there for strike one. Pick off Luke to first, and he's back in safely. The 0 1. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. But Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well respected umpire in the league. Next offering is foul back. Jordan on at first. Nobody out. The next offering misses, and that's ball one. What about some no nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah, even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name, and uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. ball to right. Luke Lowe under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's one down. That is it. The left fielder of the third. Here's Nicholas yes. Castellanos. Castellanos. Two for eight in the series so far. It's amazing. We get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. Kick Sandy. Runner on the goal. Throw to second. Tag. And they got him. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing. Even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. The wind of the pitch. Right side. Walker handles the chance. He takes it on his own, and that'll do it. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. It ain't no surprise. A full moon sits in the sky. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now here is Jordan Lee Lowe. For the Diamondback, the right fielder, Jordan Lee And a pitch. Swing and a bouncer. Zips it across. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting fifth, the catcher, Carson Kelly. Next up in the Diamondbacks, Carson Kelly. Three for seven in the series so far. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Lifted in the air, right center field. Jordan on the move to his left. Out number two. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is that just is mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. And now it's Christian Walker. Next pitch has popped up. Real Muto should have this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is the third out of the inning. We played two full. We're tied. Nothing done. 
Here's Chris Bryant now. His July and August splits there. The third baseman, Chris Bryant. The wind of the pitch. That one is upstairs. That's down and in. Two balls, no strike. Righty to the plate. That misses off the outside edge. It's a leadoff nope. walk, and that's the go-ahead run. Well, just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. First pitch, just misses. And here it comes. This one in the air right field. And that one gets down. Fair ball. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Batting none. The second Gene base. Segura at the plate here. Segura. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and fires. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. Nothing happening on the bases, though. The one, two. And here's a slow roller. Off balance feet, there's one. On the first, in time. Double play. So two down now, and here is Kyle Schwarber. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like... Everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. So the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses, and it's nothing in two. Just missed. Excellent arm action on that two-strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. Two outs. Bounce to the right side. Rojas gloves it to first. And that is that. Philly strand one, and we are still scoreless. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Seth Beer. Here we go. We're the Diamondback. Well, on no paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Here comes a pitch. There's the strike. One missing low. And he deals. That's in there. 
Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If he can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Next one misses, and the count is two and two. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Segura throw to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Batting in the center field. And now it's Dalton Varsho. And that's in there for strike one. The pitch. Foul ball there. Oh, and two now. Fought off foul. Left hand batter waits. On the ground, right side. Fires over to Hoskins. Two up, two down. Batting none. The third baseman. Drew Ellis. Drew Ellis stands in now for the Diamondbacks. In there, and it's 0-1. pitch swings through that one for strike two ahead 0 two in the count sure you've got four pitches you can work with but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible the 0 two stays alive And now the lefty cut on and missed, struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. And the Diamondbacks down in order. And we're still knotted at zero. Out of the fourth. And now it is JT Real Muto. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Beer makes the grab, one pitch and one out. Up next for Philadelphia, the right fielder, Bryce. Bryce Harper to the Harper. plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the righty deals. Nope. And that's downstairs and outside. Hit on the ground to the right side. Steps on he's first out. for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. 
Jordan. And now for the Phillies, Brandon Jordan. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. That one fouled off. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty delivers. In the air, right field. And that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. Around second now as they still don't have it. Jordan around third. Cut off. Now a throw home. Not in time. He makes it safely for an inside the park home run. Well, they call it one of the most exciting plays in baseball for a reason, Boog. Always fun to see an inside the park. Room. Man, he was flying out of the box. But I think that by the time he was getting a second, he had it in his mind to go all the way. That's his great hustle from start to finish. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. First pitch, and he just misses. The next pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. Up the middle. Rojas throws on to first. And the inning is over. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Phillies one and the Diamondbacks nothing. Back here in the desert, ready to go, bottom four. Here's Josh Rojas. Ready to go for the Diamondback. The second baseman. Suarez back to work hey. and a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top level guy like this. And here it comes. Swung out, Kelsey. Deep. That one way back there. That one's going to land not so much here. Is 11th of the year, and we're all square. It's tied at one. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, it's such a good chance that he's going to hook a foul, but not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. The batter number 13. And Good now ball. here is Nick, Nick Ahmed. Oh, First man. pitch doesn't find the zone. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. And the 1-0. Lined and that's a base hit. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch for the play. Hit a lot of hitters four. tell themselves, line drive Good over down. the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just to keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. First offering misses the mark. And a pitch. And another ball. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. The 
pitch. And fouled off. Kicks and fires. Runner on the goal. Cut on and missed. Throw. Tag. Out. A bullet from JT Real Muto. The pitch. And it's filled up. And a pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. It's pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. One out, base is empty. Now batting Jordan Luplo. He's 0 for 1. The right fielder, Jordan Luplo. Swings through that one, 0 and 1. Kicks and deals. Ball. One ball, one strike. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch is outside. out there and there's two away and now the batter is Carson Kelly the catcher Carson Kelly that one's in there 0 and 1 the belt and fires and that's in there at the knees well he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone he has plenty of options right here he can go up he can go away he can add velocity he can subtract next pitch misses way outside rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that the batter wasn't even tempted to swing Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Next offering is down low.
and a pitch. On the ground right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Gathers and throws to first. And that'll do it. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. Back here at Chase Field, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. Leading and leading it off, Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos. Wind in the pitch. And yeah, there's a the ball. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next offering is in for a strike. Why to kick the pitch? So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind of the pitch. Line drive. He dives but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty yeah, high leverage spot right there. there. Nice line Great. drive to the pull side, wow. bent it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And here is Chris Bryant. Swing, appeal to first. No swing, just held it back there. The one up. And that one fouled off. And the right hander deals. Two balls, one strike, and down. And that one is lifted in the air and makes the grab. What a way. I tell you what, this is a really cool feeling when you can make that kind of catch over the shoulder. Doesn't happen very often. It's not easy, but he made it look easy right there. Nice job. Here's Trevor Storm. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Story swings and blasts one deep to left center. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. The automatic double took that decision out of the hands of the third base coach, didn't it? I mean, was he planning to send him home? We don't know, maybe, but now he's preparing for a whole different situation with a pair of runners in scoring position. So two in scoring position with one out. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Gene Segura. Bounce to third. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. The battle. The designated hitter. Kyle Schwarber. So the Philly batting order turns over. And now, Kyle Schwarber. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. And a foul ball. 
I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. One down, Phillies down a run. And just misses with that one. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Right-hander kicks deals. Pitch misses there. And the count's even at two. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Right into the play. And a swing and a miss. That's out number two. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third and one out. Couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. And that helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. JT Real Muto stands in the two away as he takes a ball. And a pitch. Base hit. One run is in. The tag and that's out number three. In and over. One half of the fifth coming up. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now we go. Christian we'll Walker, back. the first baseman. Christian. Here comes a pinch. Walker. Good eye right there. The lefty, the 1 0. Here's the strike. And he deals. Hits softly on the ground to third. Bryant throw to first in time. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. In the air, right side, Harper turns, moving to his left, makes the grab on the run. Two down. The batter, the center fielder. Two no outs, base is empty. Now up next for Arizona, Dolph Varsho. In there for strike one. The pitch. One ball, one strike. Swung on, broken back grounder to third. Tries the bare hand, and it gets by him. No throw, he's safe at first. Up next to the Diamondback, the third baseman. So digging in, Drew Ellis. And 
that's in there for strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And here it comes. There's a strike. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. 0-2 oh now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Varsho leads off first with two down to the inning. The next offering misses. Now one and two. And a pitch. That misses. Ball two. I got to count two and two. First offering, runner goes. Next offering is foul back. Two outs. And now it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. And a 3-2. Fouled off again. And it remains 3-2. About to see the 11th pitch of the at-bat here. To first, and they've got him picked off. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Well, this is a play that you've got to make. The pitcher steps off as the runner leaves early. Make the throws, put the tag on the runner, and execute. I guess you tip your cap to the base runner on that one. Really good job of getting out of it. The pitch. And ball four to a board. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. The batter, number 10. And the Phillies manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move. Ranger Suarez won't go any further. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Kyle Gibson taking over on the mound. He last pitched two days ago. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And we get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Here's the second baseman, Josh Rojas. Well, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Zach Eflin appears to be getting loose. Two on, two outs. Pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. First and second, two down. One fouled off, two and two. Oh. 
Left hand batter waits. That's ripped into the outfield. Jordan makes the play, and that will end the inning. Diamondbacks strand a pair. Score remains deadlocked at 2 2. And welcome back. Here's Harper now. Leading off for Philadelphia, the right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. The right hander back to work. And a foul ball. The old one. That one missing inside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tyler Gilbert getting ready to go. Smith getting cranked up as well. The 1-1. One -one. Swung on, belted. That one back there. And it hits the fence. Safe at second with a leadoff double. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Now the Diamondbacks manager is out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Luke Weaver gives way, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Tyler Gilbert hasn't pitched in the last three days. Tyler Gilbert. Go ahead, run on base. Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. In there, and it's 0-1. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The pitch. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And the next pitch is way outside. Runner leads away at second. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. On the ground, out to short. Ahmed picks it up, sends it across the first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Now, Reese Hoskins. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. One out and a runner at second. And now it's even up. To the right side, and foul ball. So now one and two to Reese. In the air, out towards left center. Barsha makes the grab. Runner tags and goes to third. And he's up to third safely with two ball. Now back, left field. Nick and digging in for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos, one for two. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. 
Harper at third with two away. On the ground. Throws the first. That's the third out. Two, three, four, two up in the home half of the sixth. We are tied 2-2. Two, two. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Nick Ahmed. For the Diamondbacks. Not shortstop. Nick. And the pitch. Ahmed. This to center field. Jordan drifts towards it. Brings it in. One down. The designated hitter, number four. Cattell. Marte. Cattell Marte stands in now for the Diamondbacks. He's already homer here in this one. That one the other way, and now maybe extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a double at his second hit. Jordan Luplo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Now batting, right fielder, Jordan Luplo. First off, he misses badly for ball one. Runner at second here, one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. And there's the strike. One, two now. That's a hit. Coming home. Here comes the throw. But it's off the field. It's 3 2. Really nice job of two strike hitting and that at bat. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now the D-backs catcher, Carson Kelly. Now batting, catcher, Carson. First pitch, Kelly. and that's in for a strike. Now one to one. Right-handed reliever, and a count one and two. One run game, one out, one on. Stays alive. And a one-two. And the one two misses to even the count. Two two down. Bounce to the left side. And a base hit. The throw to third. And he's out. As a base runner right there, the you're making the call yourself. This ball is clearly in front of you, and you've got to know for sure if you're going to be able to make it safely to third. That time, he was wrong as a really nice throw came into third. Christian Walker getting ready to hit. On the ground to third. Fires over to Hoskins. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Welcome 
Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Noel Ramirez. And this is appearance number 45. Noel Ramirez. Back here in the desert. Now it's going to be Chris Bryant. Leading off from Philadelphia. The third baseman. Chris Bryant. And a pitch. That's out to center field. Garcia makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Now batting. The shortstop. Trevor Story. Here's Trevor Story now. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base. But because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the 1 0 -oh misses low. Righty delivers. Swings through that one. Well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. The pitch. This one high in the air to left center. Makes the grab on the run. Two away. Up next for Philadelphia, the second baseman, Gene. So up next, Segura. Gene Segura. First pitch, just misses. And that's down it away. Kicks and deals. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he now got into an advantage count. Just hitter. kept it simple. Kyle. Blake Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Joe Mantiflock comes on now. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. So now here's the DH, Kyle Schwarber. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. First offering, and it just misses. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving. A walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Left-hand hitter waits. There's a strike. With a single base runner, because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Ball to strike. Ball. Segura off of first with two away. Next pitch inside, and now three and one. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things and makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. And a 3-1 on the way. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. JT Real Muto steps in. 
This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. So the tying run at second. Inside corner for a strike. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. So now one and two. One and two. Kicks and fires. And now two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. 2-2. Two, two. And that's outside. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are a bull. Now fly ball to right center. High bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. As a run scores on the play, and that ties the game. Well, everyone is thinking it. Would the runner have scored from first if the ball stayed in the card? We'll never know, but they do get a run across with a chance to do more damage in the inning. So two down, and now here is Harper for the fourth time tonight. That one's in there, 0-1. In the dirt, blocked. Nice job behind the plate there. Ball. Next pitch misses. Yeah, that's ball two. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. It's Harper to count two and one. Fouls one off. Two and two. At the belt and finals. He swings and fouls one off. That hits the dirt and the count's full. Pitch. And there's ball four. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. He pitcher on now, Caleb Smith. This won't be easy for him as he comes in with the bases loaded. Number 31, Caleb Smith. And now the center fielder, Brandon Jordan. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simple. And now everybody's running. A squeeze and he gets it down. He pick it up with the bare hand. And he's in safely at third. As they take the lead, two runs come in. Now batting, the first baseman, Reese Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. First offering misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. Eight. 
and a 1-0. -oh. Good eye right there. Base knock here really gives them an opportunity to take control of this ball game. You don't want that other team to think they have a shot, and a knock here would be a big blow. And he deals. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it. And, and shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Phillies five, and the Diamondbacks three. Jose Alvarado Your takes over on the mound, and he'll work on holding this lead. Number 46, Jose Alvarado. Welcome back. Now the left fielder, Seth Beer. Leading up for the Diamondbacks, the left fielder, Seth Beer. And here it comes. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Sam Coonrod, the young right-hander, up and throwing. The 1-0. -oh. Swing and a miss. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Next pitch is downstairs. And now the lefty on the ground to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Up next to the diamond. The seventh year. Next to hit for Arizona, Dolph Varsho. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. And, oh. Left hand batter waits. This to third. Fires across the diamond. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting. Third base. Drew. Ellis. Two outs, base is empty. Drew Ellis stands in now for the Diamondbacks. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Just missed. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. 2-0. And he pumps it a strike. Two one. Foul ball. Next offering is foul back. Two now. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. So one, two, three, go to Diamondbacks. Still a two run deficit. It's 5 3. Back here at Chase Field, all set for the start of the inning. And here is Nick Castellanos. The left fielder, Nick Castellanos. The wind of the pitch. And downstairs. That's 
That misses. And that's ball two. Got a good eye there. And a 3-0 finds the zone. The wind of the pitch. And he walked him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. At the play, Chris Bryant. And that's in there for strike one. Nobody out. Runner at first. Squirts away a little bit. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. And now a man in the scoring position. Count one and two. And a pitch. Just misses without one. And now it's filled up. No outs, runner on second. Ground ball right side. First out in the top of the eighth. Now batting, shortstop, Trevor Ford. Next to hit, Trevor Story. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. Be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. First pitch, and he just misses. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next offering is downstairs. Castellanos takes his lead at third with one away. Next offering misses. And out 3 0. Appears they're working around him with the base open, singing. Well, you know these 2 0 counts, boo. They're just not what they used to be, and they sound like old guys when I say that, but. Ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. The pitch. And it's going to miss. Here comes the pitch. Got him looking. That's out number two. Big strikeout right there, and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield is in, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make the play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. Now it's the second baseman, Gene Segura. And that one gets away at the plate. Well done behind the dish. Two outs and one in scoring position. And it's found away. And a pitch. On the ground to third. 
That ends the frame. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Phillies five and the Diamondbacks three. Your Sam Kunra on the pitch here, pitching trying to protect this lead. Number 54, Sam Kunra. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the eighth. And now it's going to be Josh Rojas. For the Diamondback, the second baseman. Josh. The pitch. Rojas. And first offering is fouled off. Ball one there. Check out one and one. A wind in the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. Out of looking. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a lot of the strikes. I'm sure it had 13. some good Short arm stop. side run at the end to move to the outside oh, part of the plate. But with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. And the batter will be the shortstop. Nick Ahmed, one for three. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Righty to the plate. That catches the corner. In the center. Jordan in position. Makes the grab. And there's two away. The designated hitter, number four. Cattell. Marte. Here's Cattell Marte. That's Next pitch ball. downstairs. And that's ball oh, one. Okay. Two down, nobody on. And that one fouled off. offering his foul back. Here's a one-two. And that's downstairs and outside. Foul ball, he stays alive. And the right hater deals. That one just misses. And that's off because I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. About to see the 11th pitch of the at-bat here. That to right. Harper gets under it. And that ends the inning. Diamondbacks down quickly. They're still down. 5-3. And welcome back. We go to the ninth. Stepping in, you Kyle Schwarber. The designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Smith back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Of 
and a pitch. Just missed. Looks the breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either it, one. Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. A one, two. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Ellis racing over to make the catch. Up next for Philadelphia, the catcher, JT. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. First offering misses the mark. He takes a strike. The pitch. Swings and misses. That's strike two. And a pitch. And a foul ball. The wide to kick the pitch. Stays alive. Next pitch inside. And the count is even two and two. Kicks and fires. In the air, center field. Parsha settles underneath it. And there's two away. Here's Bryce Harper. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And he deals. Now three and oh. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. pitch 3 1 and he couldn't come up with it well that's a really good take right there and that's just mentally prepared knowing that if it's not on the team you can take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with not easy to lay off but he did an excellent job in that play to points Jordan stands in now and watches strike one well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. There's a swing and a drive. On its way. Out of here. He powers that one out to left and they add a pair. It's 7-3.
no matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in the spot the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. The first Digging in, Reese Hoskins. Reese. First offering way inside, almost got him. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. And now two and one. And another ball. The wind of the pitch. Got the back going too soon in strike two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. The two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a four-run lead at 7-3. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Corey Knievel. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Knievel. Bottom nine. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Jordan Luplo. The D-backs in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the weight off there. Need a good at bat out of him right here. And here it comes. Just missed. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Connor Brogdon up and loosening in the pen. Next offering is down low. Kicks and deals. Off the mark there. Three balls, no strikes. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Going to be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Righty delivers. And a four-pitch walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Kelly, the next to hit, takes ball one. Luplo gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Right-handed reliever. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and one away. And at first, Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. First pitch, and he just misses. And 
That clips the corner. The pitch. That's in there, and it's one and two. I got the count. One and two. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Hook gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, no it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on. Seth Beer stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Left-hand batter waits. That one drifts inside. Two -0. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. Let's see if they walk you. Three-0 down. And ball four to a board. Not what he wanted to do there, Boo. He keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good That's chance to cut into their deficit. Dalton Marshall stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And the first pitch misses for ball one. So he's already in some trouble and falling behind in the count makes it even worse. Then you've got to throw the ball over more of the plate and that's where they can really do damage against a guy like this. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies put an end to their three-game skid. A win on the last day of the month. You close it out with the W, but you want to carry that momentum into the next game. 7-3 is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.